Have you ever had this happen, <clears throat> where the rope snaps out of the recoil? Well, if you have and you want to fix it, stay tuned because I'll show you guys how. Here are the tools that you're going to need for this job. You're going to need a nut driver with a 5 16 socket, a pair of side cutters, a pair of needle nose pliers, and some kind of lubricant. I'm using this lithium grease. Um, now, you may not need this depending on what style of recoil you have. This is from a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower engine. I'll put a picture up on the screen of which one it is because if it's one that looks like this, an older one, you're not going to need to do this. So I'll put a picture up on the screen uh, to an engine that has the same cover. So you may not need this, but in this video, in this, for this repair, with this, re with this recoil, you do. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do <clears throat> when the rope snaps out is you're gonna wanna, you you have to remove this middle screw on here, so it's just a five sixteenths, and don't worry about the spring being tensioned because once the rope snaps out, the spring will automatically rewind back in and it's fine. So just loosen the screw, take it all the way out, and then this cover will come off. And then you're gonna wanna leave the plastic things in there, and you're gonna wanna pull this up very slowly. Because if you do if you do it incorrectly, the spring can sometimes come out of the cover, which isn't good. So after you do this, all right. So after you remove the pulley from the <clears throat> rewind assembly, you're gonna get your rope and you're gonna stick it through the little eyelet in the bottom where it usually comes out. You want to pull it through here. Then you're gonna want to find the hole on the rewind pulley where the rope goes through, which is right here. Then you gotta push this through here. And you may want to melt the end first, but I couldn't find a lighter, so we're just not going to do that. Then you're going to, once you pull it through the pulley like this, you're going to have to tie a knot in the end. Make sure it's a good knot, because you don't want the rope to snap off at the knot. So, make it nice and tight. And if you want, I like to do two knots sometimes, just to be extra safe. Like that. Turn the fan on. Alright. So after you do this, and you get your knot like nice and tight, you can pull the rope out and have it kind of seat in the little hole. Then you're going to want to line up the spring to the little notch on the, I guess, shaft in here. And you'll know when you do that because you can kind of feel it go down. Yeah, and it kind of springs back like this. So that's good. Now we can reinstall our um, cover, but if yours doesn't have any grease, you might, you might want to spray some, like that, because it makes sure, it helps to make sure that these little paws, uh, go out every time you pull the recoil over. Now you're going to screw this back on the top. Make sure it kind of locks in place as well. There's, there's like little tabs on the end of it to help it. Alright, so... On some of these recoils, if there's not enough space between the pulley and the housing, you're going to want to melt a little notch into the plastic pulley with a screwdriver so that when you scoop the rope up and you go to rewind the rewind, when you, when you, when you rewind the spring, it'll go all the way around. But this one, there's enough room. So now what we're going to do is get our small pliers. We're going to pull the rope out of the little hole there where it goes out of the cover like this. We're gonna want to turn it because we're, we're, we're rewinding the springs. So we're gonna want to turn it at least four times first. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna hold the pulley with our finger and pull the rope back out so it doesn't snap. So we're gonna pull it out like that and then we're gonna let it go back in slowly. Hold the rope to do it too. And then, so, okay. Now, this, you might think because there's rope hanging out of it, it's not done enough, but it actually is. Because on most lawnmowers, the rope goes to the handle like this. So you're gonna want about, I don't know, three, four feet hanging out. So this is actually perfectly um, fixed now. So now, so now all I have to do is put it back on the lawnmower, and there you go.